Assalamu alaikum students my name is Abdul Hanan and you are watching study wali class students in this lecture we are going to study about the liquid state properties which are depression and the vapor pressure so the first of all it is my request to please like comment share to my videos so subscribe to my channel study wali class and press the bell icon for the future notifications so let's start from the evaporation so the first of all what is an evaporation so the spontaneous change of liquid into vapors from the surface of liquid at all temperature so the first of all it's mean that it is a spontaneous change natural or the unforced change of a liquid into a vapors from the surface of a liquid at all temperatures because it is a natural process for example the enthalpy change of the water evaporation is the 40.7 kilo joule per mole okay then next is that the evaporation characteristic features so the first characteristic of the evaporation is that it is a spontaneous or the natural process okay then it it continues it mean that it occurs at all temperatures because it is a natural process it is also a cooling process because it is an endothermic process it is not a exothermic process because is it does not release the energy or the release the heat next are the factors that are affecting the evaporations factor is that the surface area so if we increase the surface area it means it it will increase the evaporation because by increasing the surface area of a liquids the there are more possibilities of the liquid molecules to evaporate as as compared to less surface area okay the next factor is that the the nature of the liquids that mean the size shape or the interparticular forces then the evaporation decreases because by increasing the intermolecular forces it mean that the forces between the molecule increase so it mean it will require more energy to escape the molecule because the the forces which are uh, strengthening and holding back the molecules uh, is increased and the next factor is the temperature if we increase the temperature then of course the evaporation in increases because by increasing the temperature the initial push it mean the initial heat that is that is required to the molecules to break the intermolecular forces uh, increases so the increase in temperature mean the more molecule escape from the surface that's why the evaporation increases then we have the external pressure so if we increase the external pressure then the evaporation decreases because by increasing the external pressure it mean there is a more pressure in the surrounding as compared to surface okay so it's mean that the less a less number of the molecules have the enough pressure to overcome the external pressure that's why the evaporation decreases okay then we have the humidity there are there is more moisture in the air then it's mean that the less number of the molecules will evaporate from the surface because there is the less space in the air or in the surrounding so the less number of molecules are required to fill the space okay so this is the evaporation and its factors the next property of the liquid state is we have the vapor pressure so the by the by the definition the pressure exerted by the vapor in equilibrium with liquid at a particular temperature it means the specific pressure which is exerted by the vapor of the liquid state which are in equilibrium with liquid at a particular temperature so from this definition i'll show that the vapor pressure occur at a particular temperature and and the pressure which is exerted by the vapor is in equilibrium with the liquid okay so the the vapor pressure is measured by the manometric method in the manometric method we use this formula which is the p pressure is equal to p a plus delta h where the p is the vapor pressure of the liquid and the p a is the atmospheric pressure okay and the and the delta h is the difference between of height of the mercury column in the two limbs of the manometer okay so the next we have the factors affecting the vapor pressure so the first factor is the is the nature of liquid which is the size shape interparticular forces so this is the intermolecular forces so if we increase the intermolecular forces then the vapor pressure decreases because if we increase the intermolecular forces it's mean that the more forces are holding the molecules in a liquid state 
that's why the less number of the molecules are present in the in the vapor state so the less amount of the pressure is exerted by the vapor in the equilibrium with a liquid that's why the vapor pressure decreases as the intermolecular forces increases okay and the next is the temperature so if we if, so if we increase the temperature of the liquid then the vapor pressure also increases because by increasing the temperature the more number of the liquid molecules are able to escape from the surface with the minimum amount of energy that is required to evaporate from the surface so that's why the number of the molecules are present at the vapor state that's why the vapor pressure increases so these are the factors affecting the vapor pressure until the next video care of yourselves and your family members love is